First, prepare a statement of cash flows. Duh, you probably would do that in the statement of cash flows section using the direct or indirect method and required disclosures from supporting documentation. They love saying from supporting documentation over and over. However, the only time you'll really ever do that is in the Sims. It's kind of more of a reference to the real world where you will need to take all of the client files or your own files if you're internally preparing it and prep a statement of cash flows for your company, for your firm, whatever it is. Secondly, we want to adjust a statement of cash flows to correct identified errors. Just like in many sections, you want to do it and you want to do it right. If sometimes you don't do it right, you want to go back and fix some of those errors. Next, we want to detect, investigate, and correct discrepancies while agreeing the statement of cash flow amounts to supporting documentation. Again, we want to make sure that the statement of cash flows is correct. We've got a lot of different things such as the investing, operating, and financing activity sections. We'll dive into that pretty heavily. And lastly, derive the impact of transactions on the statement of cash flows. Pretty vague, but that's what the AICPA wants you to know. That's what we're going to dive into much more in depth today. And I hope you all are going to enjoy this good time with statement of cash flows.